I love mushrooms because I find it incredible that they turn wood into food and because it's delicious. Its culture is accessible to everyone, so more and more people around the world are getting into it to supplement their income. During our stopover in Mexico, we met a community in Chiapas that transforms agricultural waste into oyster mushrooms. At Low Tech Lab, we travel the world to find the best low tech. Inventions that are useful, sustainable and accessible to all. Yo me llamo Antonio Santos Ruiz, dedicamos lo que es la producción de hongo. Sí, ya con toda mi familia. Somos siete, mi papá, mi mamá, mis hermanas, mi hermano, mi cuñada y yo. Y somos de acá, el municipio de Altama, del estado de Chiapas, México. Vimos que es muy bueno trabajando en hongo. Así. Nos deja algo de dinero como un negocio. Y que aparte de eso, este, pues, como es comestible, lo podemos agarrar en esto para comerlo. Son dos este, tipos de sustrato que utilizamos, caña de maíz y la cáscara de fútbol. En eso participamos todos. Okay. Como yo no puedo caminar, pues lo que más participo es en la siembra, lo que es este, en el corte, ya cuando salen el hongo, okay. este, la limpiamos y la medimos, eso es mi trabajo también. Después de la cosecha los sacamos todos los pasteles ya que se acabaron de producir, llevamos en un terrenito, en nuestros terrenos lo amontonamos, dejamos que se, este, se, se desintegre todo, okay. ya para utilizarlo en abono orgánico también. Okay. ¿Qué te motivó a empezar? Este, no es muy lejos para ir a trabajar, puedo trabajar acá nomás en casa, acá nomás cerquita, me pueden llevar allá y puedo participar también ahí. Puedo decirles que estoy muy contento en esto, trabajando en esto, estoy muy contento ya. Puedo decir eso porque eso es lo que siento ya por, por mi, este, ya mi módulo y lo que tengo, pues, lo que tengo y por eso, como okay. te digo, pues estoy muy contento. Sí. Okay. I'll show you how to do. But first, you have to understand how mushroom grows. What is called mushroom is actually the fruit of the mycelium, which is the underground part. It is the white fluffy thing we see under the bark of dead trees or hidden in our soil. The mushroom spreads spores and creates new mycelium. This mycelium eats wood or leaves to grow. Then it produces mushrooms again. We have chosen to grow oyster mushrooms because they are delicious and easy to grow. You'll need containers, straw, lime, rubbing alcohol and mycelium. You can do it by yourself, but it's often done by laboratories because it requires a very sterile uh, environment. The secret of mushroom cultivation is to avoid any contamination. Fill up with water, add some lime. You must disinfect everything the mycelium will touch, including his food, which shows local straw. But we can make it with cardboard, coffee ground or sawdust. Sterilize the substrate. And you have to wait for 12 hours that all contaminants dies. Then drain all the water. Drill a hole in the container. Then sterilize your hands with gel and your work plant. And containers with rubbing alcohol. Put some gaze so contamination cannot get in. Sterilize your hand with gel. Your substrate has to be a bit wet, but not too much. No drops when you press it. Mix gently your mycelium in the substrate with a sterile spoon. Fill up the container and close it quickly. Put your containers into the dark at a temperature of 20 to 30 degrees. 
wet for three to four weeks until the mycelium colonizes the whole container. When the substrate is fully white, fructification can start. Put it in indirect sunlight, in a ventilated and humid area. Make a cut in the gaze and keep an eye on it. It can take two weeks. As soon as small mushrooms appear, remove the gaze and sprinkle water three times a day. It takes only three days for the mushroom to grow. You can harvest it by turning its base. It will grow again. From a kilo of substrate, you can harvest up to 200 grams. When it doesn't grow anymore, you can compost the substrate. Or some people mold it to make an insulating material of our packaging. Or you can even make a surfboard. Thanks to mushrooms, you can recycle organic waste and turn it into food. This technique should be much more developed all around the world. The goal of the Lotech Lab is to find Lotech innovation, document and promote them so that anyone can replicate them. It's open source and collaborative, so feel free to comment and if you make it, please share it with us.